right, I've noticed a lot online that people ask the same question, and that's how to put a combo box inside a data grid. And before Flex 4.5, it was kind of hard. You, you had to make a custom component. But now with 4.5, uh, they introduced a Spark data grid, and it comes with a new Spark combo box grid editor, which we can use. So first thing to do, we need to make the data grid editable. editable. So we'll call editable true, and we have to do that for each of the data grid columns. So, and now we can do this two ways. Uh, on this first one, we call item editor and we have to do the full component name so it's spark dot components dot grid classes dot combo box grid item editor and if we run this the the combo box doesn't show up normally but when you go to edit the cell the combo box shows up and you can see that here and we can change the value inside that combo box and it changes the data provider. So now the second way to do this is we can do it using tags and declare some variables to the combo box. So we'll take off this ending tag and just place the uh, greater than sign so we get a separate ta XML tag and inside of here we'll call item editor and we're going to continue this tag based thing and it's a component and then combo box grid item editor and now we want to call it data provider and this will be an array list and now we're going to add some strings to it and we'll just call this combo one and we'll duplicate this a few times and change these numbers alright so now we can run this and we should see those strings fill in our combo box Computer's running a little slow today. That's fine. All right. So the second first column still has the regular combo box, and the second column we have the data, and it changes when we select it. And it also works with the completion when you start typing. So if we had different uh, words in there not all starting with C it filling those in so that's how you add a combo box to a data grid in flex 4.5